Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. My name is Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. And I'm Josh. That was really fucking loud, you guys. First on the agenda. Shots. Shots. To Carl Weathers. Rest in peace. Shots. Yeah. Tequila. Why is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> That's so spicy. Why is it spicy? What were we drinking there, Danny? Uh, a little tequila. A little tequila. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. You guys, TikTok is freaking out because it, millions of videos have been muted. And the reason being is because they're fucking deal so They're with saying that Universal. word. Right? They're saying what? They're saying so that word. They're saying that word. You can't say that word. Can't say that word, guys. Don't say that word. But what if you like grapes? So they're splitting okay. with Universal, right? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there was some yeah. type of uh, c- contract that didn't get renewed, so they pulled, uh, I think, TikTok removed or... Absolutely everything that has anything Universal Music on it. That they, they pulled it from their library, so you can't use them for sounds anymore in their videos, which means millions of videos with Universal Music went... They just, they're all muted now. Well, I saw a... So person. the video's there? The video's there, there's just no audio. Video's there, there's no okay. audio. So yeah. I saw a person today that was claiming that he made a video going, hey, come follow me over here because all of my videos are now muted and I'm not part of that deal. Mm. But my videos got all mute. a bunch of his videos got muted too. Oh, just another musician? Yeah, just some musician oh, wow. I saw actually today and I'm like, well, That's that must suck. Like all of a sudden, all of your content, there's no audio on your shit for your own music. Yeah. It's not, that would suck. But um, I think it's a, I think it's kind of a good thing for independent artists. I, that was just going to get to that. Yeah. The upside to that is all the attention that, uh, is being put on independent artists right now on TikTok because of it, yeah. which is really cool. Thank you, by the way. It's been quite a few videos of people tagging us, suggesting music for people's TikToks, like here are bands you should listen to. And yeah. I think if there's a band out there that you like. Do that. Like, yes. pop it out there. Get your friends to, you know, get involved and share it with other friends and stuff, you know what but I mean? is this only videos that were shot using TikTok or anything that's anything universal? Anything that's posted onto, onto TikTok. TikTok yeah. that is I don't have a TikTok, so that's yeah. all, like, how does that yeah. work? Okay, because yeah. that would So, I, I don't know exactly what happened. All the, a couple of the articles I read, it, it, they just used the term that it ended badly between the two. Yeah. So, it was like an instant, like, at midnight, all that shit was muted, you know? Right. Yeah. But um, yeah, so the, putting the spotlight on the independent artist here on TikTok though is a really big, it's, it's really cool. And it's, you guys, if you're in an independent band, take advantage of that shit. Yeah, oh yeah. Post about it. I see lots of people posting about, hey, you sad about this? Well, here's some songs. Uh, Spinal Severance Package actually did a video that yeah, was really cool. Yeah, I've seen cool, a few by then. Where he yeah. was like, you need some songs for some moods? Well, this song is about this. This song's about that. And I was like, that's fucking brilliant. I'm, yeah. I want to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm stealing it, bro. Can't do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> stealing it. So yeah. which one are you? Are you Millie or are you Vanilli? Uh, I'm just going to steal the idea. Vanilli. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dated reference. Yeah, but hear me out. Isn't all music universal music? Right? I mean... <laughs> Well, yeah. Yeah, so no music's being played on TikTok now? Is that how this works? Everything that's not under the umbrella Listen, if you of can the still corporation, hear the corporation music, right? Universal, Universal oh, is not being, the type has of been, music. Okay. It, whether I think it was it's Universal TikTok music. removed it, right? Yeah, is that TikTok what happened? Just, they removed it. They all. didn't come to a deal, yeah. so TikTok removed it. And if you're even trying to like post videos with the song playing in the background, if it catches it in the algorithm, it'll mute your video. Right. So yeah. It's a lot of videos out there. Yeah. I would say that's a lot. Yeah. So if you're looking for music for your videos, check out The Last Days of War. Check out Spinal Savage Package. Check out fucking all the fucking independent artists that you follow. The unit. The unit. All of it. Not his unit. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do that too yeah, on my uh, only feet. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. So we'll see how, we'll see how it plays out. Do you think that That's how I do they might come to an agreement later on to get the music back? Because do you think that they'll feel a hit from it? You know, I think with as much attention as some of those artists get, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I think it would be cool to have a place where it's it's more independent artists there. You know? Yeah, yeah for sure. But for sure. Yeah, I I don't think we're missing too much. 
for sure. You know? Yeah. Anybody else got anything to say about that before we move on? I don't know. I'd kind of like to see TikToks from Universal artists trying to promote themselves on TikTok now. Good luck, <laughs> fuckers. Like Everybody. they just get them. Just I, I just I'm I'm curious as to how you could be at that level of of a musician and being on such a label and now going, go promote yourself on this brand. No. It's like Oh Bro, yeah, but I we, know. Know. I never we don't have a deal of, with I've them. I've never even so thought about can't. that side of it. But it's yeah, just yeah. like, it's oh, a big market. So yeah, my label's yeah. got beef, so I can't do a TikTok now. I have to do only Instagram. Well, what, or what about Facebook. for some big artists that have a lot of followers? That's on what I'm TikTok saying. They like they're gonna way. have to say, eh, Nick your account. I mean, I guess technically they could plug the song. They just couldn't play it in any of the videos. Yeah. I, I want to see those videos. Is what from the artist's mouth like? Like what we're doing now. Like, hey, this is how I fucking feel. And this is how he feels about it. But I want to see how they, as a a client of Universal Music, which we're all Universal Music. But, uh, <laughs> let me get off that one. Let's get off that one. But I just want to see how they feel about not being able to promote themselves on that platform now that it attracts the newer generations that are going to be buying your shit for years uh, you know that is true might be yeah. a celebrity backlash i want <laughs> i wonder if that's why tiktok went you know what fine then and probably it's probably one of those we'll be back uh, you know uh, or i mean it could be other way i don't know for sure well then you have like uh fortnite and mac or apple went at it and then they oh, yeah. split so you couldn't play fortnite on your iPhone anymore, but you could play it on any other phone or any other platform. And they still haven't even seen that eye yet, so it's like, yeah. You guys, you know it'd be a great song to put on your video. Our new single, Reach, that drops Valentine's Day, February fourteenth. Not yet. Uh, you gotta wait. You, you gotta, gotta wait. wait. You gotta thought wait. you were going for it. Not yet. <laughs> but it will drop Day. before our next episode of this podcast. It's going to be out on Valentine's Day like night or the day before. How is that? Technically, it'll be uh, if you're in the United States on the West Coast, you you can listen to it at 9 p.m. on Tuesday night. The same time the East Coast gets to listen yeah. to it. Because it drops at midnight, wherever it drops midnight in that region yeah. first. Gotcha. So, yeah. Unless we set it when we're fucked up, then it just drops whatever the bad. fuck we <laughs> it's probably think now. we set it's it. Up. It's somewhere within, up but this somewhere is within a forty-eight for. hour period, we're, in there it'll drop. Right? We're gonna check it twenty-four hours before. Now nah, we'll sure have it. We'll have it ready to go, and it'll be uh, it'll drop on Valentine's Day. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the single really quick, sure. uh, just as far as like the excitement of hey man, we're fucking releasing another new song. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, man, uh, it just feels good to keep going. You know. Keep yeah. pushing, and I feel like what we're doing and how we're writing, and uh, especially just just all of us coming together and kind of honing in our sound, uh, it's just really exciting to hear the progression with each single that we release. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, this is actually one of the first songs we did together. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a, that's and, a great story. And the, the story? Yeah, and the yeah. song was completely different. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, but we, this is why it never got put out. Like it, it so, to me like, sounded mm. more like uh, so along the lines of like as a like dying, like more thrashy, you know. Technically, you and I wrote this because this was the song that I did before we decided to hit up Rob. Yep. Cause you came in and tracked vocals on it after the fact. I don't think you were a part when I did that already. No, we 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 sat down and we're doing the back and forth. Yeah, yeah, but that was after I showed you the song because originally, the original track, mm. I did both parts. Yeah. Yeah. And then one day, eventually, we went, hey, what are we going to do with that? And we could just completely dissected it and yeah. Just this, uh, changed it all. Yeah, man, it was... Uh, so I wrote the song for my grandfather when he passed. Um, for my grandfather and the two of my other best friends, they had uh, all within like a year's time frame. I lost my grandfather, my buddy lost his father, and my other buddy lost his wife. And uh, when we... I remember when he, Danny first sent me that music, I was... Uh, it was so hard-hitting, the, the, for the original version. It was so fast and so like hard-hitting and, you know... You go, what do they call it? The seven stages of grief or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? And at the time, it fit for me because 
I was angry, you know? I was angry, I was like, you know, I was angry when like, my grandfather's gone, you know? Um, especially the way he passed, I feel, you know, but anyways. Um, so yeah, I just lost my train of thought, guys. I'm sorry. It's all good. What was I talking about? The song? The song. We're dropping the song. Okay, Valentine's yeah, so my Day. grandfather, so my grandfather passed and my friends and everything like that. And so when we, when we originally wrote it, it was hard and fast paced and it just, you know, and it was there, but it wasn't complete. And then that was when we decided to grab Rob. And then Rob came in and then we bounced back and forth. And that was when you created your parts. Mm -hmm. you, you wrote those down. And uh, and then it just kind of sat there for a while, right? Sat there for a long, long time, yeah. Yeah, it just yeah. kind of sat there for a while. It was kind of one of those ones where it was like, this is cool. Uh, there's something missing. We'll get back to this. Yeah, and I feel you know? like there's always that that certain level when we develop a song so far it hits that point where it just kind of, we go, okay, we're going, yeah. you know? And I felt like that one just took longer than most to get there. Well, because we were debating if it should go faster, if it should be. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever asked you, how did you even accidentally get to that point of, Hey, it's going to be a slower song. Check this out. I don't think it was, I don't think it was accidental. I, I think oh, I you, literally you just, radio, you were thinking about I that. just, I just pulled the chord, the chord progression and slowed it down and, and just yeah. kind of worked and tweaked different parts and things yeah. and changed it up. And cause I remember when you first did that and you're like, Hey, check it out. It's in the Dropbox. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I mean cool. the drums and the guitar are totally yeah. way different. And, uh, but I, the one thing I remember was I was like, Okay, I gotta ignore the vocals because we're seeing it completely different. You know, you know, what we should do. Part. We should make a, a video where uh, it, it shows a snippet of the original. Yes, and then a snippet. No, so but you can know, see, see, but see, here's the we thing. Have it on the, I do. We yeah, let's yeah. go ahead. And we'll drop a plug for Dropbox.com. Uh, we use Dropbox to send our files back and forth, and so we can listen to the mixes that we're using. Dropbox now has an adjustable audio speed playback. <laughs> And this is where, this is where Danny and I are shooting back ideas back and forth, just like. And Rob goes, Rob goes, hey, play it at one point five, and I go, okay. S speed and I go, this Ooh. song up, slow this okay. one down to point seven five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slow yeah. it down to half time. Thank now you, thank you, Drop Dropbox for adding that feature. Yes, Dropbox. Yeah, because now hey guys, Dropbox. Purchase it, and when you go to check out, use code Last Days of War, and then email them and ask them why it doesn't work. It's because they don't sponsor us. <laughs> they should. We're here. Story space. We're here. We're here. They we got need. plenty to offer. They got many plans. Waiting, you can guys. check it out. <laughs> we need more space. Let's go. Space. Yeah. So yeah. yeah Anyways, so anyone else we want to plug while we're at it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Were you done with your story? I'm sorry. 76 <laughs> gasoline. Dude, that was perfect. <laughs> we we we're gonna need some gas work. for tour. <laughs> we recommend every 76 station. 76, Motel 6, whatever. What do you got? Yeah, Motel 6? Hell yeah. They'll leave the light on for you. Yeah, they will. There you go. Uh, fucking, uh, Subway, eat fresh. <laughs> uh, I'm just getting the tour covered. Just going. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so plan back, 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 back to plan of fitness. Yeah, plan of shower. fitness in. We need to you shower. Get plan of fitness in where you can work out, get cleaned up, and get on with your day. Plan of fitness. <laughs> Every band should be sponsored by them. Oh yeah. Every yeah. band should take a shower. Not together. <laughs> Not together. <laughs> Separately. Uh fuck, dude. So uh let's transition back into research. So yeah, I felt like uh I just felt like we should go a totally different direction with it. Yeah. And I feel like it's as much as I like the uh the original, I think this is just much better. And so here's where I try not to cry. Okay, so we got we have the final mixes, and I remember the first time listening to it, like I know like that song's always emotional for me, you know, we we the live shows we played. I cried each time, you know, mm -hmm. but like hearing the completed project, dude, thank you guys so much for writing such a beautiful song. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things where I, it's probably like the most sentimental song that I have. Yeah. But, uh, you adding what you added, your lyrics. I remember we were talking about it and like, what are you writing about? And I told you and 
dude, you wrote your, 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 your parts in fucking minutes, dude. Like it was like, okay, I know this is, where don't make me sound like Metallica. No, but like, no, dude, no, no, no. But I'm saying like, <laughs> just, that's just the, the flow and the progression and the, no, what we knew what the yeah. song was about. And, um, I'm just like, like seriously, I, I, I so happy I get to perform this song on stage with you guys with uh, some of the closest people in my life for somebody that was very dear and near to my heart that's no longer with us. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, brought to you by Target. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can shop online, they'll deliver it to your car. So, so yeah, so Valentine's Day, it's dropping. Um, February 14th, guys. I'm All sure, three platforms. I'm sure there'll be some, flowers. Uh, some little snippets and teasers coming out. And definitely. We'll definitely do that. I think maybe we should talk about maybe doing like a vocal type video yeah. and shit like that. And know? maybe we'll read another fucking competition. We're, we're going to do the song, but we're going to switch parts. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Let's do that. No, let's, let's that. not. Yeah. Let's say, are you serious? <laughs> this could be interesting. I don't think anyone wants to hear that. No, nobody wants that. I'm sure there's somebody in the comments. About time. <laughs> That'll come out April first. Uh, you guys want to get into this second? This yeah. Let's this is it. this sounds like fun. Let's let's get a little bit happy here. Oh fuck. Go, Danny. Read read what we got going here. Okay, so if aliens landed on Earth what and you, mean you if? were wait 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 we've been covering them coming to this fucking you mean planet. If. Okay, so the backyard. Alpha Draconians are here. So the they're Alpha here. Alpha Draconians are here. They've landed. The okay. Alpha Draconians. Um, if aliens landed on Earth. And you were the first point of contact. What's your extraterrestrial welcome package? And name off the four things that would be in the package. So, here. like, what movie are you going to show them? Uh, what food are you going to have them try? Okay. Uh, where are you going to take them? And uh, what do you got? You going to show them? Let's you know art, music. Like, what are you going to show them that that like says like, hey, we're we're humans and this is us. For sure. And and if you could give them a gift and a present, what would you do? Okay. So care package. Alpha Draconians, you finally meet. You, you meet brace. your Alpha Draconians. I'm, I'm going to give them the time check. capsule I buried in fifth grade. Let's go. There we go. Nothing what I but knew. boogers in it. <laughs> <laughs> boogers, PB&J. <laughs> I think yeah, a Ford Ford Luke Skywalker toy. Dude. It was <laughs> like uh MC Hammer single. <laughs> Did you really put that in there? Yeah, I mean, it you was, know he did. You know, no, he did. I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't really do a time capsule. I was like, well, how am I going to bury my shit in the yard? <laughs> so, what, what, so what, what movie would you go. show them? Idiocracy. Yeah, great movie. It's just, hey, this is where we're at. Sorry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> All right, and a food. What's the first food you're having them try? Uh, is it a pop tart sandwich, bro? Ice cream sandwich. Hmm. No, 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 no. What would I have aliens eat? Some booty. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we probably just do barbecue. Just do a Cue whole big cookout, just, you go. know, carne like asada, chicken. <laughs> Try like, this one, dude. They're like, oh, God, they're killing us. Right. Oh. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, Where would you take them? Where would you take them? Sightseeing. Where would I? <laughs> But do you take them back home and you take them to Venice Beach? <laughs> <laughs> or do you or do you actually show them like, hey, this is what humanity is about. Like go up to like Big Bear and just overlook everything and say, well, yeah, we fucked this up. You know? Okay. Uh, which, which, what song would you show them? That's a good one. First song that they're ever going to hear. Oh, wow. Well, if you don't say the last days of war. Just kidding. <laughs> Check out uh, my band. I, but here's the problem. I have a song in mind, but I I can't really promote it because I don't know the release Is it part of Universal Group? No. Okay. No. Uh, but I don't know the release date of it. Oh, I know what song he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. but I can't, I can't. It's one of our new singles. Yeah. That you guys got to wait oh. for. It. That's but not I, reach, I, but it's, ooh, it's fucking fire. Yeah, but I don't know the date of it. That's what I would give them. I know. Oh, you <laughs> Danny's hey, just like, I'm I brewing in it. I got it. I picked up on it. I know. <laughs> okay, yeah. so... Uh, That's what I would so give. you show them that song. I would give them that song. Food, what are you having to eat? Yeah, barbecue. Barbecue, that's oh, right. We already, that's okay, right. okay, so uh, right, gift, yeah. souvenir, what are you going to give them? Present, give them a present. Something to take back home. 
It's my shit. There you go. <laughs> Put it in a doggy bag. <laughs> okay. So what do you got? What's your what's your movie? Okay. So movie, right off the bat, I think I'd show them Shawshank Redemption. Okay. It's a great movie. Um, it'll get an alien to cry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, totally. So, uh, yep, Shawshank Redemption. Food, uh, what are you doing? Where are you thinking? Food? He's hungry. They're hungry. She. They're hungry. It, whatever it is. First thing, first thing, I'll, I'll take them to In and Out. Let's go. Okay. Double, double. Sightseeing, where are you going to take them? Sightseeing, uh, I'm not going to say Big Bear. <laughs> we'll go with, um, you know what? I probably, somewhere outside of the United States, probably. Yeah. Like, hey, man. Kind of fucked it up here. Go check. Let's go don't, check this out. Hey, here. don't look over here. Don't look over here. Yeah. This is where we leave the mess. Um, where, where are uh, they getting it right right now? If we can, uh, if 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 we can, like, uh, if I can, if they can give me a ride on their UFO up to somewhere really quick, then do like a top of a fucking cool mountain somewhere. Oh, so dude. you're the yeah. souvenir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Song. 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 Uh, song. Taking us out of the. Taking us out of it. I probably would play. Uh. No, 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 no! You gotta do one of our songs. Okay. If I have to do one of our songs, okay. If it, okay, okay, uh, that's good. Okay, one of our, that's a good one. one of what's, what's our first song from ours? Okay, um, I would play them "Breaking the Mold." I feel it's a good example of like the in between of what we do. Okay. What's the next one? Uh, Was that, that it? That's it. Man. Oh, the gift souvenir. Okay. Um, I would give them uh, a copy of our 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 singles. Okay. <laughs> what's that? Thank you for being our 1,000th subscriber. Here you go. So Here's for me, merch. for me, I would sit him down and make him watch Independence Day just to let him know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around, find, find out. out. <laughs> like we we could do this, okay? Like we could overcome this. We got this. Oh, you mess around, you know. That's a good one. Yeah. Food. Uh, I take him to go get some good pizza. I almost said pizza because pizza. You know? is, I feel like everybody likes pizza, even if it's good or bad. Yeah, pizza. they're not gonna hate it, right? Yeah. I mean, and you can Even do bad like, pizza is still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they like, could be like, <laughs> I want cheese, I want this, you know, whatever toppings, you could do your thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sightseeing. Where are you taking them? I take them to Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah. Ooh, wine and dining? Six yeah, and yeah. You know what the yeah. cost of flights is right now? Bro, they got, a, they got a shit, bro. We just go over there and be like, look. Oh, wait, wait, we could go anywhere? Yeah, dude, they yeah, took me to like, the this place. No, you said cool. you had to take them. <laughs> He's off to take me up. No, wait, wait, wait. That They're was, taking me? I was, was like, after. okay, wait, wait. If I'm taking them, like, it's just like, <laughs> we'll go up to the top of a fucking mountain. You can see what this looks like. And then we're going right back down. I'm like, no. Yeah. That was after. Song? Song, Home Sweet Hell. Home Sweet Hell. Good good choice. Just, just let them know that this is how we, this is how we throw it down. You know? All right. Top of the list. Josh. Movie. I'm going to have fun with this. American History X. Oh, right just off the bat. fucking throw it for a loop. Bunch of prison movies. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably throw in a Malian 3. Just, holy shit. Food this wise. is how we throw down with no weapons. <laughs> just... Like, Which is how we throw down this way. Every, everyone's in a prison. This is this is predator. Doors. Watch this. We just have doors. <laughs> All four movies were about prisoners. Shit. Sorry, proceed. No, you're good. <laughs> Food wise, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just giving them peanut butter because I honestly want to see an alien eat peanut butter. One of them's got to have a peanut allergy. <laughs> he just wants to see one of them blow up. Man. Oh, what's the like They're just sitting there like. <laughs> now taking them if it was outside the u.s i love you babe but we're taking them to the philippines because yeah. i want to take them to where they can see people smaller than them okay inside the u.s i'm taking them to universal studios there you go just walk around with them and see how many people think that they're actual cast members oh, before they get one. kidnapped well, it doesn't it all depend on like the stature of the actual alien itself? Well, it depends on how quickly Josh is. When These guys the, are aliens. When the Alpha Draconians come, I'm gonna go hang out with Josh because that shit sounds fun. Oh yeah, dude, that sounds okay. fun too. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the uh, what song? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, song. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm no, thinking no, no, of the no. song. I'm thinking of the song. He's all no. Go. Simply. We're giving him time. <laughs> no, give finish your thing because oh. I was gonna change the topic altogether. Oh, okay. oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Because we yeah we got like five minutes before we take a break. Yeah, it's a real quick. Well, then I'm gonna go with control. Then there you go, there you go. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. And then uh, cultural exchange. What are you giving them to take home? To take back home? One of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Study. I think this, this is yours. You I left was, this here. I last was literally time. right before you said that. I was gonna say, and don't say wife. <laughs> I was 
<laughs> oh no, I'm keeping my wife. I need that. I need so that. Uh, we want to get into this. Uh, hang on, real quick. Oh no, no, you. Movie. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Your point. What What's a movie? And it doesn't have to be like childhood memory one, but what's a movie where it's just like it? It instantly, you know, just oh, fuck. I can't watch this movie. You know, so, this is four time. Really, <laughs> really. <laughs> Fucking Littlefoot, dude. Yeah, it was rough. Motherfucker, tree stars. Follow your heart. What's the, what's what's your guys' movies? Yes, what movie? Movie for what? You, now? That makes you sad. That makes yeah. you cry. That makes me that cry. Like, yeah. like it's an instant like, you know. Fucking uh, Rudy, man. No, I'm kidding. I, I, I was like Rudy. <laughs> I was um, trying to be serious. Like, yeah, dude, that's good. It's like, yeah, no way. Right? Me too. Fuck it. I'd have to think because that shit like, like makes me laugh. Would generally right. make me cry. Or cry with laughter. Ooh. Well, I mean, you know, that, that's a whole different category. Yeah, something like something that. Like for dead, me, it would hits be, the alive. feels. Dead alive? Dead alive. Ah, Philadelphia. Phil- oh, that's a, that's a good movie. The Tom Hanks movie. Yeah. Uh, what's that movie where Will Smith is going to commit suicide? Seven pounds. Yeah, that movie's. Oh, wild, that's that movie, a good one. That that that's movie right one. there is one of those. Oh, that's, that's like, a good one. Because because it's okay. Movie. So oh. surprise, it's good. So oh, it's so, so he's good. Woody Harrelson. His I think his wife dies in a car accident, and then something's going on with him. He has some kind of illness, and he's passing away. And no, or he's gonna kill himself because mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. And so no, just. Wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. You. 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 You trying not to spoil it or what? Yeah. Essentially, you get slapped by Chris Rock. <laughs> no. In in time. In time. That, that in time. I mean, eventually that does happen. I mean, that's not a lie. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. He slaps him. He slaps him. Uh but essentially, like his wife dies in a car accident that he was responsible for. There so it is. okay, okay. And so now he's like reaching out to these different people, and he's just like, "I want to get to know you as a person. Are you a good, decent fucking person? Like, how would you fucking treat this situation that I'm giving you?" And then they're just like, "Well, you know, that's fucked up, but you know, hey, I appreciate it and this and that, and you know." And he sees their outlook, and he. he appreciates it and you should watch it because it's a fucking at, yeah. the, at the end and you're like oh oh okay. Rob, Rob saved you because I was okay. just gonna go for it yeah. but yeah it's it's, it's like, like level, when I level. tell you the whole scenario you would just be like damn that is rough for me a movie on that level would be fucking John is it John Q is that the yeah. one yeah mm-hmm. fuck dude okay Ooh. so you pick Philadelphia and you pick John Q and now I'm sitting over here with man on fire just Bro, did you see? Did we talk about this last week? Yeah, Equalizer yeah, Three. Okay, yeah. Okay. Never mind. I thought I could for sure. But it just Go Man on Fire. Uh, They're all Denzel movies. Yeah. yeah. Or Denzel. Okay, Denzel. I can switch it up though. Denzel. Uh, let's do uh, What Dreams May Come. That's a good one. Yeah, that's very sad. Yeah. That one's brutal. Um, but like, it, I have that demented sense of humor though. Like, okay, to me, I'll you do see Mystic this River. One. Um, huh? Have you seen Mystic River? Yes. Where he's in the park. Is that my daughter in there? Yeah. Every time that scene oh. comes on, I bust up fucking <laughs> laughing. And my wife's pissed at me. That is not funny. <laughs> That's that my daughter in there. I'm dying on the floor. Because I know they went, cut. All right, now that was good. Give me a little more emotion with that. And she can't take it. She's like, it's so emotional. What was that? Was your daughter? Well, my daughter would not be in a fucking park in Boston. So that's not my daughter. Spoilers. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah. Um yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh one that always gets me is click. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just well, cause it cause it, it, it seems like it's such a funny and fun movie, and oh. then it hits you in some shit. You're like, damn, that's rough, man. Well, if I didn't you, have kids, then I don't think I'd take it the same way. Having kids, then yeah, I understand what you're talking about because of the, the time goes so fast and sometimes yeah. you really want to speed it up, but then what happens is then you regret and you want those times back. Yeah. And you can never get them back. Yeah. yeah. No, I was talking more about the flap. That's what I'm <laughs> dealing with now. You know? 
what the fuck is this? What is this? This is mine. And with that, we'll be right back. <laughs> What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the, the Facebook uh, and threads. Yeah. Those are all the last days of war, and X is the last days of war because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back. And we're back. What up, guys? Welcome to the last days of war, guys. Subscribe. What's happening? What's happening? You guys? I, first on the agenda. Uh, shots. 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 shots if you got them you know you guys could buy a sweet shot glass last days of more shot glass and uh think you can buy them. Cheers. Cheers. so how much do i have to pay to get one of them bad boys i don't know price rings link in the bio you know what link in the bio the link in the bio somebody website. click the, somebody click the link in the bio and tell us how, how much our shot glasses are and buy them <laughs> Yes, his name is. Oh yeah, gonna put, they're gonna put. I was gonna say, yeah, his name is Scrappy. Pretty gonna, much, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, his name Scrappy. That threw me. I was that like, was, oh, that's you answering. I was like, I was like, how did you know, Holy Danny? Shit. People are actually watching us. Katie, what's the guy up? In the show. Katie's from Fellas. I believe yeah. so. What's Correct up, me Katie? if I'm wrong. Yeah. See, look, now we're gonna get all distracted by the TikTok chat yeah. over here. <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, Carl oh. Weathers. Carl Weathers passed, man. No, we already covered that. We did the cheer. No, we I know we did a shot, but we're we gonna we're we gonna didn't, uh, talk a little about okay. talk a little bit about the guy. Um, what are some of your favorite Carl Weather movies, man? The dude was awesome. Uh, for me, uh, it was it would be like the uh, Happy Gilmore series. Oh, I, I was gonna say that. Just say just with Chubbs and that whole scene. It's just heartbreaking to watch that scene now, but you know that both of them are all in a good place right now, partying with Gene Simmons, who's still alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's uh, and then my favorite uh, Simmons, Little Nicky, yeah, reprised the role in Little Nicky. Nice, he did, and he was. And I think didn't he reprise the role in? Uh, what was that Halloween movie that Adam Sandler did not that Huey long ago? Halloween? I think that he did an. I think he did a shot glass is thirteen dollars. Oh. Thirteen dollars, guys. Thirteen up. doll hairs. Steve Dawson, five. We're has a question for us. We should make it. Steve cheap. Dawson has a question for us. Steve real quick. Dawson, our music is. What are we gonna say here? It says. Well, let's read the question. Go. Cool. All right, fellas. What is your music, <laughs> and who are your influences? Go. Cool. Uh. Our music is what we play. It's heavy uh, rock. I like the metalcore, industrial, like, um, comic book. A lot of people label us new industrial. Yeah, uh, I go with soundtrack metal. Yeah. Soundtrack metal. I like soundtrack. We got some. We got some John Wicks coming at you guys pretty soon. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, influences, I would say uh, weed and alcohol. <laughs> Stay on drugs, kids. <laughs> uh, Nine Inch Nails, Slipknot. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Oh, um, a got, lot. I go got, for it. Shoot. I, um, snot. Snot, Slipknot, Lamb of God. Um, and then you're coming in with electronic. You have to have Trent. You have to have the Prodigy, Dust Brothers, Chemical Brothers, mm-hmm. Crystal Method. You got to, you know, then you go into what people are we're listening to are listening to and how the beats progressed into what it sounds like now it's like yeah let's keep it the way it was you know yeah Yeah. so there's our influences and what we're doing here um so rocky rocky would be my car weather we're gonna steal them all from mark and see well i'm gonna go i'm gonna say i'm gonna say apollo creed you know i like this yeah i like this. when i when i think of him the first guy when i first character i think of is apollo creed Uh for sure yeah, I'm gonna go with Predator. I did it before. I did it before Josh did. I took it. Um, he was a dude. That, he was the dude in Predator, man. Al. Look, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How did Didn't he go he, out? He How got go all out? screwed up Fucking in the little bush. Tragically. He was laying. Wasn't he laying up in a bush and he was all bleeding? He was laying up in a bush, all bleeding, dude. Was he all like? Uh, he was like, uh. what's his name? The <laughs> Arnold guy. What was his character's name? Oh. Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. Dutch. He yeah. was like, oh, oh no, you're dying. He's like, ah. Yeah. But yeah. He's you got to, you got to, you got to. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's kind of how it went, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. You got a, you got a movie? Something like I'm just that. Picture of the scene, but yeah, it kind of went like that. Yeah. Um, specific for me would be Rocky Three. Oh, for sure. Nice. The mm-hmm. character he plays. Apollo and that movie where that he's was more their of the coach. Second their T fight? Is that their second mm-hmm. one? No, he's not even the fighter. Yeah, Rocky the three is the coach. That's when Mickey coach. dies. Yeah. And they like Spoilers. spar and all that. And he mm-hmm. takes him to the hood. So that was that was the, dance. that was the movie in there that where they spent like the most time on And that's what as the paintings friends, right? from. Yeah. That's yeah. what the paintings from where they fight each other. Yeah. And they yeah. had Rocky had the big old mansion, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Movies are dope, dude. Have you guys seen the new Rocky franchise? You talk the Creed, like the Creed ones. I guess I've seen. Yeah. I have seen all but the third one. Yeah, same. Good. I think here. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah one hundred percent. Like seen really ones. good. Yeah. The problem yeah. was, is I binge watched the first one, second one. It was like, oh hell yeah, one hundred. Yeah, and then the third one came out, and it was like, oh, I don't want to go out to the theater. <laughs> Let's just wait. And then it came out, and I'm like, oh, I'll just wait till it's free. And now it's just like. Uh, you know, it's I'll put time in it. I got to redo the first one, second one, then the third. Yeah, one, you can. You know? I, that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, but I it's, haven't done the third. It's yet. so worth it. I did not know that that fact about him though. I did what? not know that he was the voice of Combat Carl in the Toy Story franchise. Yes, I did not know that. That's what it says there. Folks. That's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. What the one? What's this next oh, one? The, you're putting the facts up there. Oh yeah, Wayne Kramer, MC Five. That, that's unfortunate. Uh, one of like the uh, original pioneers of punk rock, I guess you could say. Yeah. Passed away. That's, uh, you know, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, um, cheers Wayne. Mm-hmm. Heavy influences on modern day and punk rock back then and just what it became. Um, another one that got me was Jesse Jane, the porn star. Yeah. Yeah. I saw I that. I had no clue. Like, I guess days had passed since I found out. Like, it was like, what? That's crazy because I remember when you told me about it, I was like, who is that? <laughs> remember? <laughs> uh, but, okay. So, uh, I'll give you a little backstory. Um, mm-hmm. okay. So there, uh, Skinamax. Okay. Like, they would always play this one fucking stupid movie, and I thought it was funny. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Like, I didn't actually watch it for what it, it was like. Okay, that part. Yeah, they showed the TNA. Sorry, he wasn't touching himself. No, it's <laughs> it's it's totally softcore, skin and max. But I was just like, who is this actress? And then she starts going into like the, yep, I'm going to do this. It's like, cool. So she's releasing this um adult video called pirates and it's like the first multi-million dollar uh adult industry film that they've sunk this much money into (laughs) it's supposed to be like pirates of the caribbean and uh so they're doing a signing meet and greet and i was like hell yeah I took a DVD copy of this stupid Skinamax film, and she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> and she's like, you you actually paid for this? I'm like, I thought it was funny. And so she signed my copy of this stupid movie called Busty Cops. You still have it? Yes. Nice. And she signed my copy of uh, Pirates as well. Nice. How's Pirates? How'd it end? <laughs> There's a sequel. Like there's a sequel. <laughs> they had a sight. <laughs> How did it end? All over and back. There you go. <laughs> the end. <laughs> there was a group celebration. Oh boy. Oh uh, man, yeah, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Um, okay. What else we got here, guys? Grammy Awards. Grammy Awards. Oh. So did you guys see the best metal performance? I did not. Thing. Okay. So the Can nominees... I be honest with you? If you're not nominated, why the fuck are you watching this? Like it's a good question. Who you the watch, fuck do you cares? Watch them? I do not. I, I, I really do don't care yeah, about yeah, any of I watched snippets of them on okay, social media for sure. Basically. I, I will watch it if it's on in the bar that I hear I'm that at or Taylor whatever Swift establishment. Announced a new album. Who? So Swifties? Taylor Swift. Swifties? She announced a new album. Oh good. Yeah. Oh, good. But she's she's about to win the Super Bowl, right? She's going to. Oh. You know where you won't hear that promoted? Huh? 
Huh? Huh? TikTok. You will. Oh, that's right. That's, that album will not be promoted on TikTok. Because you know, the, the universal, universal thing. Oh. <laughs> but you know what will be? Rich. A special Super Bowl Warcast episode. February 14th. What? Is Reach. I thought we were plugging the... Oh, yeah, no, but before, <laughs> before <laughs> that... I thought about the Super Bowl. Yeah, we got a Super... Uh, we do have a Super uh, Bowl show coming. I don't think we yeah. can say that, though. Yeah, we it, can. We could say the big game, but you can't say the SB. Okay. The, uh, uh, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. So, but we're going to have cup. a special big game halftime show. Yeah, so there's yeah. going to be a big game happening, and uh, there's going to be a halftime show. And during that halftime show, we will be going live that night. Uh, we will shoot a. We will usher worth. in a better episode of entertainment. Uh, I see what he did there because that guy is fucking performing. Uh, who else is he performing with? It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter because you're going to be watching you're not going to get an STD <laughs> watching our war cast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, or you won't get pregnant. Anyways. Uh, no guarantees. No, I guarantee. You know what they do in the halftime. Room. I know what we do in our halftime and chance. ain't no one getting pregnant. Trust me. It doesn't work like that. I want to hear that somebody got pregnant watching us during Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Do work, guys. Do it. Get on it. Get on it. Yeah. So, we, so, so, what should they name the kid? Do we need to give the date of that day? You guys know when the day is, right? The big game. The, the big day game. of the big game. The day of that day. Yeah, that day. It's on a Sunday. On halftime, <clears throat> we'll be going live Americano. for 30 minutes, and then we will shoot the second half of the episode after said game for another 30 minutes. So, join us live because we will be there. It's going to be a special episode. That's right. And then we got another treat. The 11th. Up. Yeah. What would be the next? What Thank would be you. the other treat? Thank you. The following week. The following week. Do you know what we got planned? What do we got planned? Tell me. Well, see, all of us gentlemen in this band are happily married men. Ding. And on the other side of our happy little marriage is our happy little wives who will be taking the microphones for a special Warcast episode of the Wives of the Last Days of Warcast. There you go. They will be spilling all the beans. I believe they dubbed themselves the War Wives. Thank you. I was trying to remember for the life saying? of me. Yes, yeah. they called themselves I, I have the a text message saying this is what we've been named. Okay. okay. All right, cool. War Wives. should make them a uh, yeah. War Wives shirts, dude. Yeah. 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 War guns. Hmm. So, so what? So what I'm saying? So what Oh, I was in there. Lincoln Bio? Yeah, oh, Lincoln okay. Bio. So, Grammy coming Awards. Soon. Coming soon? <laughs> coming soon. Uh, did you see who was nominated? Disturbed, Ghost, Metallica, Slipknot, and Spirit Box. And Metallica won for uh, 72 seasons. Only one of those dudes showed up, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Robert, the, the bass player. Yeah. yeah, he showed up and was there. And they played Ozzy instead of... Yeah, they played the song. It was funny because he was the big crazy bass train? for yeah, yeah. yeah he that's played awesome, bass for Ozzy and stuff, Good so that was kind of funny. That's they didn't even play the Metallica song that won. Why was Ozzy oh. queued up, and why that song from Ozzy? Because it's like, so they must have literally thought this is this is by Metallica or this somebody somebody running the thing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Said play this, right? Yeah, that's fucking this. Wild. This um, this is a better way to, you know. It's yeah. funny that funny that you bring up zombie or uh, Ozzy because that just reminds me of zombie. Yeah, and we talked about the bass player of zombie leaving after what 15, 17 years or something right. like that. Did you hear who they got to replace them? No, uh -huh. I did not. Blasco's back. Fucking Blasco is back. Fuck yeah, Holy dude. fucking shit! It's That's just dope. like <laughs> they're pretty much their bassist. The, after the original fuck yeah. Oh, okay, like yeah. pretty much the original Why did you fuck. Just say that, dude. <laughs> did you say that? Did you see that picture I sent you of Rob Zombie and it said Rob Zombie starting to look like uh, the ghost of the Macho ghost Man. Ghost of Macho Macho Man. Man. I love it so much, dude. Dying. Hell yeah! I was dying. Yeah. So. um it just, you know, Metallica is great. They're they're Metallica, you know. But if I could have gave it to somebody there, Spirit Box. Yeah, I would have loved to see. Wait, well, okay, Box wait, wait, wait. Are you really doing it based off the name or just the song? I know okay, the song. so let let me do this. There's those the list. are albums. Those, well, yeah. No, yeah. So best metal performance. Right. So what I'm asking, Rob, is who would you pick? 
out of these bands? In all honesty, mm -hmm. who's the only one that I actually heard on the fucking radio or anyone tell me that I had to fucking listen to? Spirit Box? No. Well, I mean, you guys are all about them, but don't get me wrong. I love, I love all these fucking bands, but Metallica is the one that's just like, did you hear that new Metallica song? They're fucking back. And it's like, no, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Listen to it. Just listen to it. And you listen to it and you're just like, okay. Are they back though? <laughs> listen, at least okay, Brit so Britney who would Spears you didn't mention Metallica. Metallica, going Metallica. Either. You're going Metallica? Yeah. I, uh, I mean, that's the only one that I heard getting promoted every fucking where. Uh, okay. Everyone else, it's just like. In my bubble, it's Spirit but Box. this wasn't who had the most promotion, right? This was best performance. But if I haven't seen any of the other performances, also what you're getting at is you wouldn't. Be okay, able to I hear what you. I see where you're going. I see where you're going with that. Okay, okay. okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Which yeah. is probably why my answer is Spirit Box. Right. Because same here. I didn't even know there was new Metallica. Seventy-two seconds. I hope that's how long the album is. Seasons. 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 Sorry. Yes. Hey, check this out. Seconds. Seasons. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wear your glasses, folks. Woo. Brought to you by Lens Crafters. <laughs> Lenscrafters.com. You can have lenses quicker to you than 60 minutes. <laughs> See how many random plugs we can Yeah, we're just going to plug everyone all episode. Do you guys like oh, hot takes? Because there's a whole new game that you can purchase online. No, right here, right here. Oh. If you could swap lives oh, God with a it. fictional character for a day, who would you choose and why? Go first, Josh. I'm picking Constantine. I'm going with John Constantine. Nice. Why? There we go. <laughs> I want to reenact that whole goddamn movie from beginning to end. Just so I can slap the shit out of Gavin Rossdale. <laughs> I like that. And then all the other points that happened in the movie. But I think it would be cool to go from, I'm not religious, but just to find out if there really is a heaven or a hell. For sure. For that reason, that would be entertaining for me. You, don't don't you, even ask me yet. What about you, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be the one. On. Oh, hell no. You can keep going. Okay. Oh. Um, you want me? I'll fucking I'll answer then, dude. Star-Lord, man. I, the, the, I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And uh, I just think it would be cool. I, I know he goes through a lot of fucking grief and sadness. and uh, But I think I just think that his overall arc as a character in those movies is pretty cool. So... That'd be cool to do that. Hang out with Batista. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Chill out. Yeah. Kick Rocket. You know? <laughs> kick him. Kick him a little bit. Kick the rock. <laughs> Poor raccoon. The little trash. What are you thinking on? What you got? Tyler Durden. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, shit. Nice. There you go. Why? Do you imagine if you just see me randomly? Hey, what's up? You want to get in some shit? Let's do this. Um, I'm going to go orgasmo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta get a watch. Stop, cock. <laughs> because you can literally just be like. <laughs> the Mormon <laughs> porn star? <laughs> huh? The Mormon porn star turned crime fighter. Yeah, you would, you would, I'd be orgasmo. the character, I'd be that character and you could just. I could see it, dude. You want to be the superhero. Yeah. Or the actual superhero. Yeah. Not not the character, not the guy playing the part, the actor. I'm talking about the actual crime fighter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, you. All righty. Um, Can I change my answer? <laughs> what do you dude, want? I was gonna I was literally gonna say change you want to go second round the show. Change Let's go it. second round. Let's go. I want to be Bruce Wayne. Ooh. Which Batman? See, I franchise? was gonna say. I was gonna which, say. Which Batman. franchise? I was gonna say Batman. Well, currently, I would say only if they keep going, the Batman. Oh yeah, that's okay. a good. That's a good I version of Batman. It's got a lot of potential. Yeah, that's a good version of Batman. There's, there's been one. Two movies? One of too many movies. No, but I mean no, of, of this, this recent. It's just oh, the just iteration. One, just one, so only, okay, the so I've, I've seen that one. I'm like, unless it's, it came yeah, out and yeah, I missed it's it. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, it was good. It was great. I liked it. Well, are you, Danny? Second no. round. Are you still talking no, about Batman? No, no, no. I mean, just. We're talking about Robin? Batman. You want to be Robin? 
If Rob's Batman, I'm Robin. Well, I Turn was gonna go. Wing. I was thinking, and that's why I was. I was thinking Batman. That's why I was conflicted. I was like, but then I was like, his fucking parents die and shit, and that kind of sucks. Yeah. But like, other than that shit, like, yeah, okay. sure. We're gonna come back to Batman right now, but you're a second person. Goes with my theme of being sadistic. Um, either Jack the Ripper or Hannibal Lecter. There you go. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so Batman. I want to kill some people and eat some brains. Batman. I, I want to see how he functions with one hand. Batman. Okay. Because there was never a movie after. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, wanted, I want that movie. Go on, Batman. So, no. Batman. Yeah, sorry. You, you can pick to be one villain. From there, what villain would you choose to be from, from Batman? Batman? Yes. Go, Josh. Oh, oh I like that. Uh, <laughs> Scarecrow? So, uh, oh, that's dope. Hell yeah, dude. Scarecrow. Drug people make him see shit. Wear a burlap mask. The Jim Carrey version of the Riddler. Okay, specific. Okay. 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 We're Versus going the newer one. one. Yeah. <coughs> Even if it's not from the movies, if it's from the animated shows. Oh, whatever. okay. Yeah. Do you want to change your answer? No, nah, I'm good. I'll stay with what I, <laughs> I was like, like, this is a pretty solid answer. I'll stay, I'll stay with what I got. Mine's demented enough. What's Sir? What's your guy, Danny? I'd go Bane. Bane? Yeah, oh, dude. Hell yeah, dude. You know? Juice it up. Crush some shit. Yeah. Rob some banks. That's what you know? know. Which Bane? And you break Batman's back, dude. The, the newer uh, Bane? No, or the, like I think the maybe the Bane from the animated series. Okay. okay. That's a good Bane. Yeah, I'd go with that. Yeah. What you got, Danny? I mean, Rob. <laughs> Fuck, I'll take whatever you guys didn't pick up. I'll be the Joker from The Dark Knight. There you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a fucking great one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what else we got, guys? Are you going to do some hot takes? Sure. Let's do some fucking hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Motherfucker. Oh, you want to talk about porn stars again? Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Hold I think, on. We, I think we have an episode like that that Hold. never aired. No, we, <laughs> got, we still got that one on deck. Hold yeah, on to your hot take. take. Let's hear it, Rob. But, what do you but got? here's what's what going. happened. If you so, can be any porn star, who would you is be? Is that at? really what it is? No. Oh, no. 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 Like, that's fucking great. What do I get? <laughs> um, no, so Lisa Ann, the adult film star, got arrested at a Matt Rife show. For allegedly pulling her phone out. What? Yeah, and she's just like, I'm, I gotta fucking respond to this. Like, no, you can't have your phone. They ended up arresting her at the show, and she's like, this is ridiculous. I saw a video of police walking her out, and she was just like, this of who is again? ridiculous. Uh, Lisa, Lisa Ann. Who is that? It's an adult film star. Okay. All right. Um, oh, it's right there. I could have fucking read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, she did the um do oh god what's her fucking name palin nailing palin <laughs> she did the nailing palin videos for sure link me you know what i'm talking about no i don't so link me okay <laughs> show, me. <laughs> show, show me show me hey guys pull up on the big screen <laughs> okay oh. we're gonna cut to the, the big screen right now yeah where was this going so oh, she got arrested. She got arrested. She was at a Matt Rife show. Okay. But also with the Grammys. Bro, he's very serious about the fucking... But then no also phones. with the Grammys, you got Killer Mike getting arrested right after winning three Grammys. Now, three Grammys. what did he get arrested for? Battery. Battery. Warrant. It was a warrant. It was a warrant for battery. Now, hear me out. Sure. And everyone's saying this too, so I'm not, I know I'm not an original for saying this shit, but... They're saying Will Smith walked up and assaulted a guy on national TV and walked away Scott clean. This guy's got a, a warrant for battery and you fucking haul him off in the middle or at the end of a fucking ceremony after he just won three fucking Grammys. It's like, come on, let's make a scene. Bro, imagine he's doing his acceptance speech and they just walk him off stage in handcuffs. Dude. That's Kind of is it was Is it at an after happened? party or was it right after? Because it, it looked like it was it like it was pretty right much after. when they were exiting the building before he could get to the after party. So they already planned on, I guess you could say, being nice and letting him get his award, but he was never going to leave the building. So as soon as they had a chance and he was as you go from the building to the after parties, they just got around him and arrested him. But no heads up, no being fans of WWE. I'm not buying it. 
<laughs> it's a work. It's a fuck it. It's one hundred percent a work. How do you listen for his music? Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's wild. Hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll I don't see. know. You guys just hot well, takes. Well, hold on. Wait, wait a second. Wait, wait. So do you want to talk WWE <laughs> real quick? Because we did predictions and you were right. Sure. Senor you Cody were right. Rhodes. Senor Cody what Rhodes. were you right Cody, about? Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble. Okay. Oh, okay. But. Oh, yeah. We can definitely talk this about is, this. Yeah, okay, this yeah. This gets stupid, wild, dude. Okay. Let's let's stupid go. dumb. Let's go. You stupid. got five minutes. You got go. five minutes. Wrap it up. Go. Okay, so Cody Rhodes ends up winning the Royal Rumble. It comes down to him and CM Punk at the final. And you're just like, okay, you guys are going to have at it. This is who it all came down to. And he's going to finish the story. And so Cody goes up and he's going to, you know, he's confronting Roman Reigns. He's like, you know what? Uh, I, you know, sought counsel. And uh, here's how I'm going to move forward. I'm going to decline to wrestle you at WrestleMania. Which makes no fucking sense. Which makes absolute no fucking sense. Because that is the purpose of winning the fucking Royal Rumble. So you can <laughs> so- win this fucking title and, <clears throat> you know, complete the fucking story of you winning the fucking... Now. Who does he announce? And then I will announce why that happened. Go. So... All of a sudden, the Rock's music hits. The You're Rock comes man. out, gives Cody a hug, and then stands eye to eye with Roman Reigns, <clears throat> which is what they're setting up for for WrestleMania. So Cody just won the Royal Rumble and is just like, ah, you know what? Your story. I don't even need a match. I'll take the next one. Yeah. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me right now? So rewind Whoop. to the Royal Rumble. Cody wins. Points Spoiler to Roman. alert. Sorry. Points to Roman. I'm going to take the title, whatever. You can see him talking to him. This has been the story they've been telling for two fucking years. He won the Royal Rumble last year. He's the first back-to-back winner in like, what, like a fucking 20 years. Stone Cold was the last person to do it. Um, but he's the fourth person to do it. Correct, yeah. And uh, so he points to him. This is it. This is where we're going to finish the story. During that weekend, apparently, uh, The Rock became a board member for TKO, uh, the company who owns them. They own uh, WWE and the UFC. Oh, and now we got to touch upon another subject. Yeah, we, uh, we got, God damn it. Hold on. We got three minutes. Here we go. We'll make so, this quick. So, so The Rock becomes the, the, Rock becomes the uh, board member, and apparently what happened was up until that Monday Night Raw after the Rumble, the match was Cody versus Roman, WrestleMania 40. While The Rock, being on the board of directors now, goes, hey guys, so some wild allegations happened with Vince McMahon, which we can get into. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and he's gone now, which uh, in the allegations, Brock Lesnar was in there, so they've completely erased him from the history of WWE already. And uh, he'll probably never be back. During the Royal Rumble, CM Punk tore his triceps so he's going to be out for the next six months the only option that tko has to make money is if you put me in the main event against roman reigns he fucking wedged his fucking ass in there because that, it, for that for, was, for, that for, for like so last year's wrestlemania yeah, what it should that was what been. they wanted it to be last year and because he couldn't do it last year due to his movie schedule and now he's available he's like yeah i'm gonna do it we're gonna do it now this is how i'm getting in it's fucking wild. The the, the, back, the backstage politics to it is crazy. And like apparently today on Monday Night Raw, um, they the whole crowd was chanting, "We want Cody." Like they're the internet's like backlashing on it. It's their most disliked YouTube video. They ever. put him on the cover of the video game. Yeah, Cody. And then say, uh, "I don't want a WrestleMania moment. Yeah. I'll take the next." It makes no moment. sense. And yeah. you're just like. What? He's yeah. building to the story. I'm going to finish the story. I'm going to finish the story. Hey, Rock, go in there and whoop his ass, and then I'll beat you at the next fucking pay-per-view. And it's like, yeah. what? It's wild. Um, Yeah. And as far as Richard Band goes, it's a piece of shit. If you know, you know. <laughs> he had uh, some wild allegations that we won't describe here because one- Because we one, might, might get banned. Might get banned, two, trigger, it's a trigger warning for people who have gone through stuff like that. Right. You know what I mean? But- um. Apparently, he was doing stuff with uh, John Laronitis, who was like his right-hand man, and Brock Lesnar. 
Um, so he's completely gone from TKO. As soon as the everything came out about what happened, like there's fucking screenshots of text messages. Bro, it's all forth. fucking it's, shady. It's, he it's came all Okay, there, listen. Yeah. Vince McMahon stepped down because allegations came out and then months went by. It's like, Vince McMahon's back. He sold WWE. Okay, Vince McMahon steps down. He's facing new allegations. Yeah. Like, so TKO bro, got rid of him completely. No, it's all fucking shady. Like, yeah. take down the whole fucking company. You just took down TKO. Like, I don't think The Rock can sustain a fucking Me Too movement. Good For luck, sure. buddy. Yeah, fuck. And with that being said, guys, this has been the last days of war. You guys, please, if you like what you're listening to, like, subscribe, leave a comment. It all helps the algorithm. We have a new single coming out, Reach, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, do us a favor. Click the link in the bio. I'm sure it'll be there by now. And please save that bitch. All righty. We love you guys. Bye.